Yeah, from what I can tell, uh, most Aragon decks we see in those tournaments are rather um, designed in a, in a tempo way. I, I've i rarely seen the hot control version. When I, when I first played Aragon, I was also trying a hot control variant. And back then, the One Ring was still legal. It was quite crazy trying out some new cards from Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> okay, so it seems Aragon has a mulligan down to six. <laughs> still deciding which card to keep and Flame War will start with a Badlands or maybe a Swamp into a Thoughtseize. It will be a swamp. Makes sense. Uh, he might have another red source, red mana source in hand, and also you have to consider that the deck is playing Blood Moon. So we have Chain Lightning, Daze, and Denik. Not the craziest hand. I'm currently looking at the Bloomborough cards, mm -hmm. and there are some really, really cool artworks in the in the showcase artworks and the basics. They 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 also have seasonal basics, so there's like a spring and a summer and an autumn and a winter. All the basic lands, with one of the tribes each being like looking out onto a scene on the plane. Very cool. Yeah. Shinka playing a tar fire, getting rid of Mother of Runes, and follow up by Denik. That was one of those really weird looking artworks. It's like a pencil sketch. And we have a flame war. Wooded Foothills, Old Bordered Original. Very happy that we now have another set of Old Bordered Fetchlands, the original ones. Are you gonna complete the set? Mm -hmm. okay. Once I get to order them, because they're yeah. permanently sold out. It's even it's it's already super hard to get your hands on the elemental cycle because they're also permanently mm -hmm. sold out. <clears throat> that is an interesting include. I think it sort of makes sense for a list that puts as much value into its creatures as it does, but it's uh, been I think it's been a, quite a while since a commander deck has seriously included lightning greaves yeah that's true um some people i mean there's always like these five percent of playing around with some cards in in certain decks yeah aragon is one of those decks and having a, a four drop of vigilance and lifelink that that's hasty and your opponent can't really yep. handle it is is a very powerful card a yep. very, very yep. powerful interaction here yeah I think Aragorn is one of those cards, or one of those, yeah, one of those cards that's pretty weak to sorcery speed removal um, in a way that not many other uh, cards are. Yeah. We see it, uh, Turok, actually. Oh, that's such a cool card. Woo! Here you go. Yeah, 
That was two years ago when Modern Horizons 2 was released. Now we already have the third version available and there we go Aragon with haste gaining 4 HP oh that's a perfectly timed pyrokinesis that hurts and that was the new the new uh, is the, the new Phoenix um I'm very interesting to interested to see how this card plays you know the card right I'll yes. just pick it up for the get it up for the I just have to check I think it's called Detective Phoenix. Detective Phoenix, I think so too, yeah. There we go. Yeah, then you gotta tap back in. Yeah, yeah I got it. <coughs> yeah, pretty good card. Yep. Um, I've seen it in Machesa now. I've seen it in this list. One thing that I wasn't aware of i don't quite remember why um is how the bestow ability works and what happens when a bestow ability a bestow cast fizzles because they just enter the battlefield if you bestow something and it gets removed in response they just enter the battlefield as their creature part yeah. and uh it works as if, similar as with um mutate and if the creature is removed um then they just enter the battlefield as yeah. their creature part as well so that i i don't know why but i had it i had a different kind of um, i actually thought it's treated as it. an aura and it will leave yeah but yeah, yeah I, 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 I also well. i checked up the the rule again when they when they brought up uh, new bestow cards and uh when it's attached to something it works uh, same as with reconfigure <clears throat> that yep. the equipment will uh, be a a creature again. <clears throat> it's the same with with the Bisto cards. Thanks. So both starting with a survey land, thundering falls and Ractos theater. I guess. I think the the Ractos of survey land is one of the coolest of the survey survey lands. You mean the artwork? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. The full out one. It's really nice. That's a Shadow Spear. Okay. A bit of a slow start here for Clément, for Flemor. Maybe he has Fell Push or something. There's a Malcolm end of turn. Okay. 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 Yeah, I think resolving spells around. around two open mana from a control player is uh yeah so this was a this was a, a good turn to do to fatal push and cast the shadow spear yeah sure um not sure if aragon had interaction but if he did then uh, but to be honest the, malcolm uh, is also not the best target and especially I mean, you could argue that, okay, he is tapped out and next turn he might have a counter spell in order to defend Malcolm. <clears throat> but it could also be, excuse me, there could also be a three mana follow up. And with the fetch land, you can deal, you can deal with uh, CMC4 targets or less. That's true. Just based on mana efficiency, I think the line was fine, but um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Depends what else he has in hand. I see an Oza Saga. Seal of Fire. Uh, is it a Seal of Fire? It looks seen, like a Seal of Fire. I'm not sure if it is, but... Uh, it's definitely a Fable. Fable. Yeah, yeah, it's a Fable of the Mirror Breaker. That's not too bad either. But... We see a Commander cast. There is a motorbike. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, 
And we have what is that card? Ah, that's Invert the polarity. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll get to see. Interesting that we have this card around. Oh wow, well, let's go. Come on, steal the flame war. Hey baby, that's what we want to see. This is the kind of tempo swing that really puts you on the back foot. Yeah, it's super annoying. I mean, the Aragon player can't really make use of it, but... I don't think that really matters, I think. Now you have to pay, uh, you have to play a second card in order to handle your own commander and next cast will be four mana. That's awkward. It might end up trading with like the Fable token or something, which yeah, would also um, be a really bad exchange for but, the, for Flame War. But Flame War has Menace. Like the backside oh, okay. has Menace. Well, you can, no, I mean... If he doesn't expect to be able to put an an artifact onto the battlefield, then um, then he doesn't need to even yeah. attack. Yeah. You can yeah. just use it as a flank. Hmm. I just realized I forgot about invert polarity in in Aragon. I should definitely play it. Yes. And that's what I meant, right? There's so many cards. Yeah. For so many decks, like... Um, well, now it's, it's uh, flipped back, right? In order to get back the motorbike, you would have to have uh, an artifact anyways, so... And there is, that's a spell from the latest Wild Wild Drain. Drain. Yeah. Uh, it does something with Bargain, if I remember correctly. Yep. Um, it deals damage to creatures and planeswalkers. I think, could it be two damage? Two, and, and if you bargain something, it deals four damage instead? Something like this, I guess. Not sure. Torch the tower. Torch the tower, thank you. Yes, that's the spell we're talking about. No, it deals three damage instead. Three, and you scry, scry one. one. That's not bad. And the permanent is exiled. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, relevant more and more. Not as good as lightning bolts, but still. Uh, keep in mind that bargain is sacrificing a token or an artifact or or enchantment even so quite easy for the flame war deck i assume memory lapse very good tempo trade putting back the fable on top and this will probably be an oregon cast depending on his hand uh, I, would, I would assume. Okay, seems not to be the case. Maybe a flash creature with some interaction. That's a beautiful Badlands alteration. So the fable is on stack. Fetch, probably fetching into one of the two remaining surveil lands. No, it's an island, okay. Making sure that Blood Moon isn't hitting too hard. Fair enough. Two mana, Snapcast the Mage, <laughs> Memory Lapse again. That's pretty good, that's pretty good, to be honest. Yeah. Oh no, he. Uh, never mind, he has the... 
Oh, he can invert polarity. He, yeah. he plays invert polarity. It's even better. So let's flip the coin again. Let's see if he takes control. <laughs> Boys and girls, that's a hundred percent. We built out last uh, last time. Yeah, this wow. is. This is the kind of luck you need to win a tournament like this. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah, it's absolutely backbreaking. He paid six mana, denied one, like your opponent, a uh, flame war paid six mana, got one land drop denied, and in the end, your opponent is, is stealing the enchantment. And now that you got the fa the the token at instant speed on board, you can attack next turn and you get a treasure token. Woo! That's a pretty cool goblin, by the way. And there's a plane, so now he's kind of blood moon proof. Couldn't cast a solitude without pitching, but I think that's not not a problem. He has the treasure token. There's Aragon. That's quite a good board state. Whoops. Yoinking the card. Yeah, true. That's that's the board state to which I would also concede, I think. Yeah. There's not much more to... So I, I think Invert Polarity uh, own, own that game. Yep. Okay, so we're heading into game two. Oh, we are countering Blood Moon with an Invert Polarity is interesting. We see another turn one thought sees. Three lands, four spells. Chain Lightning, Mana Leak, True Name Nemesis, Flage. I'm guessing he's going to try to deploy his commander and keep it on the vehicle side. Um, so he might be safe from Flage, so he probably wants to get the Chain Lightning out of the way. Or he could just take the True Name Nemesis because he can't handle it. Yeah, probably the chain lightning. If he can keep his opponent below, just with the true name nemesis, then he can use the menace on the flame war to avoid it being blocked. Oh, no black red, so either he can't or he won't cast as a commander. It seems like a pretty weak card to deploy in this state. job waiting on the bubble there because the opponent's probably going to get a surveil land and he can check to see what's going on there after the surveil land resolves i 
I'll have to see if the flame ball player doesn't have red or just decided not to play out red. He's shuffling, I think it's a pyrokinesis. Okay, so this has gone a bit quick. We see the... Oh, that was maybe judge call worthy. The opponent put the card into his hand and then decided to surveil it to the bottom. Bit weird. Now oh, this this mish was bobble crackers not giving him much information. I think they both kind of missed that timing. So there's a Verdant Catacombs, which represents red mana. Um, and he's going to have to see what he plays into the mana leak. I'm back. So what happened? Thoughtsies, Mishra's Bauble, and Turok. Yep. One bit weird situation where the Aragorn player fetched for a Surveillor and at the end of the turn, then untapped and put the top card of his library into his hand in like, in like the same motion, resolving the surveil trigger and untapping, and then put it into his graveyard. But um, maybe it was better communicated that than it played out on the board. Okay, yeah, I see. He's denying the second surveil land by having to counter. He could have, with the Orbog in play, he could have fetch. Uh, he could have countered without fetching. Um, yeah. TNN? Yes. That's quite good. Yeah, that was seen with the Thoughtseize. Um, Aragorn also still has a Flage in hand, mm -hmm. which the Turok is safe from, but uh, yeah, we'll see how. And he decided to take a, take a Chain Lightning over the True Name Nemesis. Interesting. So we'll um, have to see. Why did he play Turok on turn two? Or was it played with Dark? No, it was not played with Dark. Um, I don't think he had red mana. So. I think he, he kept a hand without ah, okay. without red mana and just yeah. he drew the drew the Verdant Catacombs last turn. Yeah, resol uh, resolving Torak here is definitely good. Protection from white. I mean, it can, can get bolted. That was maybe the, the thought in mind, that he gets rid of the okay, chain so lightning the shoulder, to, to keep Torak. Shoulders yeah. addict, yes. Yeah, I think he had the, the edict in hand, so that's why he decided to yeah. not take the true name. Fair enough. And there's two damage from Turok again. And we'll likely see a Flame War cast. Yeah. Since Flame War is also safe from Flage. Ratchet in the background at Samuel's home. Ah, yeah. A rescue cruiser. <laughs> ah, it was the police. Ah, okay. It was the police headquarters near where I live. So it's a pretty common occurrence that they pass by my house. Sculling Tarn, searching for an island, I, I'd assume. Do we see a quick life total check here? Yeah. Hmm. 
Et euh, là, du coup, il a construit une batterie longue parce qu'il a trouvé bien effectivement que c'était une bonne brique qui était faite pour Arthur pour faire son église qui était autre. <rire> c'est un plan, hein C'est déjà arrivé. Je crois que oh, c'est un plateau. Ok. Intéressant. A bit? Oh, no, I think it's fine because he has to cast his flage. True. If I don't know what other lands he has, but might be a bit dangerous to just get an island. If he gets a mountain. But maybe he has a fifth land in hand because he has four lands. Against a possible blood moon, so. He has, he has four cards in hand. One is flage. He could, of course, he could also bait the um, the Blood Moon by having Highland in hand or something. Yeah, so Flage with two creatures on the opponent's board, but not being able to do anything about it. Yeah. Then again, the Life Swing is also relevant, so we might just see a Flage escape next turn. I think so too. Three mana? Oh, that's the new go Nether go No, not Nether Golf. How's it Arrow Golf. If it deals damage to a player, you mill three cards and put, can put a creature from. Uh, the, can the you. The, the first three ball. letters? Do you not? <laughs> Uh, barrel, B A R. Ah, barrel, okay. There B A R R. Barrel golf, yeah. That's a good card. Oh, it's not mill three card. It's mill that many. Yeah, we, we got a couple of good logos. I think that's a very cool design space that they've entered with those cards. Yes. Um, I think Tamagoyf is a an iconic part of Magic, and Absolutely. Um, having, it, having its abilities represented on more cards is very cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have Flage. Oh, he can actually get rid of Flame War. And it's a bit, uh, I don't know. We have the, the Goyf has Life Link. We have Flage that runs into Turok. Turok is just blocking six damage turn by turn. There's Aust. Aust is definitely good. Still left, both players left with two cards in hand. I think we saw a pyrokinesis in Flame Wars hand. And another card. So... If you... The thing is, with the current board set, if you cast Aragorn... Next turn, you can have the monarch, and if your opponent decides to attack with Turok, he will safely get the monarch. But then, you also get at least nine damage from Flash Flash on on the backswing. Just deciding to bring back Flame War, that might be the right decision. Let's see. All you need is one damage for Turok. This is a lightning bolt in his hand <clears throat> and a power. I thought so, but I'm not sure. <coughs> I 
So he decides to play Oregon, okay. Ooh, I'm not sure. Is there a reason not to attack with Flage here? Because you can't protect your monarch anyways. It is a bolt. It was a lightning bolt, yep. Yeah, I feel like attacking with Flage there would have been much better. I think so too. One creature is menace, the other has protection from white. Oh, it's quite interesting to me <clears throat> now that uh, Flage made its way into all the Boros colored decks that, at least for this pile, for a long time people were playing Sanctifier en Vec to have mm -hmm. a, a toy against uh, graveyard decks, something like Sick mm -hmm. Fears, for example. And now that you have this card in your deck, it's it's much more of a risk to feature the Sanctifier because you would remove all the red cards yep. and thereby decrease the chance of escaping Flage. Yeah. I mean, you could still run both depending on the amount of red cards you play. But also, be, I mean... Uh, Flage has to be no 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 never mind. If Sanctifier enters, Flage is gone. So that yeah, doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. That doesn't work at all. I mean, it's a, it's one of those things where you probably you don't want to be playing the two of them in the same deck. Um, yeah, there right. are there are situations where you can like you basically you sandbag your Sanctifier until the opponent has completely handled uh, Flage. And each of those cards is good in different decks, yep. uh, in, in, in different against different decks. So um, it, you might be able to get away with it, but there will also be situations where you play out Sanctifier because you're playing out your hand, and then uh, and then two turns later you draw your Flage and uh, you have to keep the Flage in hand, Uh or you have to use it use it as simply a three mana lightning helix, which are both um, kind of shit uh, versions of each of the cards. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I agree. War that uh, I I personally never like to play Sanctifier in Aragon, but many people did so. Um, it I mean it really depends on your meta game, right? If you let's say out of seven rounds you're sure to to meet uh stick fingers for example for for three three rounds or something like this then it's probably a good idea to include it so that's a sokenzan activation the tokens are red by the way And Flame War is gone again. Okay, so the Sokens Arm was there to get back the Monarch. Get back the Monarch, which, but the Barrow Goyf gaining five life is also a relevant tempo mm, score. Well. Absolutely. There's a Hymn to Turok. Oh, that's crazy, man. So many cards in hand. Shinka, Hymn to Turok. Get rid of whatever you have in hand. Maybe you can also just play something at instant speed. 
That's a force of will. Okay. So there seems there's uh, quite some gas. He has a third card ready. What did he pitch? Didn't follow. It would have been lethal if the. I think it would have been lethal if the him had resolved, right? Because the Turok would be four power. Yep. Five power, three power. So we're at eleven damage. Aragon was at sixteen, I think. Mm, yeah. Plus five from the from sacrificing the Goyf. When we see a pyro Goyf into the hand. Wow, oh, that's cool. And this deck also plays another Goyf. Ah, that's tricky. And with 25 life, you feel quite good. Yes. I mean, the Flage, if, if, if Aragorn has good cards in hand, there is still potential for... Yep. Uh, to, to stabilize? Yeah, definitely. Mm. But it's very difficult. Uh, shoot you for five. Going down to three. I think that is pretty risky. Mm. I mean, considering. There's a power coming in next turn. Yeah, I, I know, but considering that the uh, Flage will kill the, um, the Bombardiers. True. But, yeah, still. I think the he has to find something here. Resolving the paragraph is already lethal. Does he have six? I think he has he artifact, he sorcery, have... instant, creature, land. land. That's five. That's five. That's true. But he also but has an... Turak is unblockable. Yeah. No, it's not because the token is red from Token Zone. No, no, That's no, true. it's a colorless token, sorry. The yeah. token is colorless, yeah. yeah. So you should probably not attack with it. Well, no, he has to attack with it if he wants to get the mana. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Okay, if he plays Aragon anyways, then there's no... Like that's that could be this kind of situation in which you think that the token is white, but actually it's not, and you forgot about it. Yep. If that would be the case, it's pretty awful. I think there's many ways to bring it. I, I mean, we've just got the onboard, the onboard win of Turak attacking and then Pyrogrove dealing the last damage here. No. Um, we'll see if uh, Flamewall goes for it. Also interesting that Turek got plus one due to the cycling the Rogan Trail. There has to be That's from... true. Yep. Mana turf, that's not a problem. Ooh. What? There's a tribal instant, the top five. Right. <laughs> That's crazy. Six damage. Goyf. Goyfs are going to win the game. That's cool. <laughs>